Hi guys, welcome to Intro Japan, and today I'm introducing you to Miyagi Prefecture, which is located in the center of Tohoku region. Miyagi is the most populated prefecture in Tohoku and is considered to be the economic center of the region. It's also one of Tohoku's largest fishing bases. They're very famous for their Pacific Sari or Sama in Japanese, especially those offloaded at the port of Kesanuma. This is because the fish are rich in fat by the time they reach this area. Sanma is a popular fish to be served in fall. You roast them with a little salt, squeeze some lemon or sudachi, and then on the side you have your shredded daikon radish and pour a dash of soy sauce on top. Ah, I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Miyagi also has the largest tuna catches in Japan, which are mainly offloaded at the port of Shiogama. One more seafood Miyagi is especially famous is their flourishing seaweed farming. That's because the ocean is rich with plankton vital to growing them, and the amount of seaweeds grown in Miyagi is the second largest in the nation. So sea veggies are considered to be super healthy, and you can use them for salad, soup, or dry them up for sushi, depending on the type of seaweed. Yet again, I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Now, rice is one of the staples of Miyagi and they are famous for their production. Traditionally, locations with colder climates such as Miyagi weren't ideal for growing rice, but they developed a type of rice which are resistant to cold weather. One of the famous rice brands they developed is called Hitomebore, which is the most produced rice within the prefecture. Matsushima Bay, consisting of 260 small islands all covered with pine trees, is considered to be one of the three most scenic views of Japan due to its unique and beautiful scenery. It became especially famous after a famous poet from Edo period called Matsuo Basho visited and praised Matsushima in his journal. Personally, when I hear about Miyagi, the first person that pops in my head is Date Masamune, who is considered by many to be a hero of this prefecture. I think some of you anime lovers may know the name, but he is an actual historical figure. He was a famous warlord of Miyagi region back in the 17th century, and he was the founder of Sendai City. He lost one of his eyesight from smallpox when he was a child, but that didn't stop him from becoming a brilliant tactician. Hence, he was called Dokugan Ryu, which means a one-eyed dragon. You gotta admit, that's a cool nickname. Some would even argue that if he had been born 10 years earlier, he may have conquered Japan instead of Tokugawa Ieyasu, the founder of Edo Shogunate, which lasted for nearly 300 years. Although he did lose one of his eyes, it's said that in his will he requested both of his eyes open when being portrayed in a painting or a statue. But for some reason in popular culture, he is often portrayed with an eye patch on. Well, having an eye patch does look cool. So anyway, because of his contribution to Miyagi, he is still very popular, especially in Sendai City. Masamune also built a Shinto shrine known as Osaki Hachimangu in 1607. It's the oldest remaining construction to preserve the culture from Azuchi Momoyama period. The shrine has been designated as Japan's national treasure in 1952. The Matsutaki Festival, also known as Dondoyaki, held within the shrine's premise, is one of the major festivals in Sendai City. Miyagi is also well known for Kokeshi, a traditional wooden doll which developed towards the end of Edo period in Tohoku region as a souvenir for children. There are five types of kokeshi in Miyagi, and they all have different designs depending on the location. So there you have it guys, Miyagi, the prefecture of the one-eyed dragon. Pretty cool, huh? We will be introducing you to more places in Miyagi in the future, so make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. For more details on Miyagi and other places in Japan, check out our website at introjapan.net. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you Nara!